So hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joan Ruguru Kimani and my blog is called Exciting Parenting and that's why we're here today. So a little bit of an update of my life is I've been having my exams and that's why I have been a bit away. Though I've been having some strong writers that is Kandi Nchemi and Esther Wamboy, they have been giving me amazing blog posts as guest writers. And I've been appreciating their work, I've been reading through their work, and I'm sure you guys have been having fun with it. Secondly, I have just finished my exams. Those things are crazy. They're really, really crazy. I couldn't even get time to put up one single Facebook post. Uh, actually, I've been starting on stuff, and it gets to the time when I have to literally, um, like, ba like, back off from things, and, you know, people get upset. But, you know, this degree really, really matters. Anyway, away from that, the main thing in this blog post, mm, sorry, video is to actually address one post that I put up and I had promised to put it up as a blog post and not a video and it was on why I prefer daycares to nannies. Yeah, I know most of you give me amazing feedback from you from my Facebook post on why you prefer nannies to daycares or daycares to nannies but most of you actually prefer daycares to nannies. Why I think uh, I would take my child to a daycare instead of, a nan of, instead of having a nanny at home is because one Daycares ensure that a child gains a lot of social skills. The child is able to interact with others, learn how to share, learn that you can have to live with others and people are different and how to maintain their anger and manage their anger. And the child grows up really, really well. They learn how to write earlier. They learn how to speak. Let's say they have age differences in the daycare. They'll be able to learn so much instead of staying at home with a nanny. Two, the child learns how to exist in different kinds of cohorts. One, they learn how to exist in a huge crowd. And two, they'll also learn to exist in a small in a small unit that is the home unit. So they'll be able to know how to behave when there's so many people that is in the daycare system where there's so many kids. Okay, so my our neighbor has chickens. <laughs> yeah, as case eight hours that were always showing up in the videos and pictures. Yeah, so they learn how to behave in different kinds of units. That is, and the smaller one is at home. Three is your child is less exposed to danger when they're staying in a daycare. We've heard of very many stories. For example, the stories back in Uganda where the nanny was stepping on a young child and she was really huge. I think if the child is staying with a nanny at home, you have to put a camera, you have to put so many things, and your child might not be fed well. They might not want to eat since they're not seeing other kids eating, or they might not even be spoken to because the nanny just wants to watch TV or you know all sorts of things. It's not. I don't think it's healthy enough to expose a child to just one person the whole day and you're not even sure. Probably they'll be watching a first cinema. I'm not saying that nannies are bad, but we have this small group of some whom we've seen on news who are not very good. And the other case in daycare is you show that, you show that your child is living with very many kids, they're having so much fun and they're exposed to very many people. Four, I think that nannies mm, might not give a lady or a father enough time to... I'm just looking at my hair and it's popping. Ah, okay, let <laughs> me focus. Uh, nannies might not give uh, them a lady or a man who has a child enough peace of mind. If you are a mother and you are at work and you're thinking probably, am, am I checking my CCTV camera enough times? Did, am I making her happy? Is she going to harm my child? If, in case she calls and she's not picking up the phone. Is the child okay? Has the child eaten? It's just stepping on the child. <laughs> you know, all sorts of things. So I think if a child is in a daycare, you, you know, you, you are at peace. You can be able to work well, go back, pick them up, pick their dishes, they're doing well, go home, make a quick meal. Like I think it's healthier for you as a mother and as a parent. Right now, in case, as I finish up this blog, let me know what you think about this and let me know whether you prefer a nanny or a daycare. And if at all you prefer a daycare, kindly let us know what kind of daycares you think are the best. And in case you have any contacts, Please leave them back down there in the description box. Thank you and thanks for watching. Bye.